Hey everyone, this is Larry. Welcome back to Today I Feel Like. Today we are going to take a look at the Kemafun KM G10 wireless microphone system. This is going to be a wireless mic that has one transmitter, one receiver, and the microphone is built into the transmitter, so we're not going to need any other microphones that are attached to it. We can just use the transmitter pack alone. So we're going to go ahead and jump into it, take a look, unbox it, try it out, and here we go. All right, let's go ahead and take a quick look around this box right here. And we can see here it says Kimmy Fun. This is what the uh, the transmitter and the uh, receiver are going to look like. We can see there the model number, which is the KMG10. It says it's going to work for network vlogging, interview recording, and video shooting. Uh, a little bit of branding on that side. Same thing on that side. A little branding, a little branding. On the back side, it says it's going to have a 2.4 gigahertz uh, digital frequency. It's gonna have a transmitter and a receiver with a built-in lithium battery. Transmitter has built-in microphone or use external uh, tie clip microphone. And receiver can connect to cameras, smartphones, and iPads. It says up to 30, uh, 30 meters of uh, line of sight operating range, special, uh, special design for DSLR mobile interview vlog recording. All right, um, yeah, a little bit about the company there, including a website if you want to check that out. So let's go ahead and actually get this, uh, let's get this out of the box so we can take a look at it here. And there is the, we're going to get a uh, user manual there in case we need that. We are also going to get the, uh, this is going to be the, the receiver right here. And then this is, means that this is going to be the transmitter. So yeah. All right, and if we look here, we are going to get on this side, it looks like the uh, a plus minus button. I believe that's gonna be for the levels there. On the bottom here, it looks like we're going to get a micro, uh, a micro USB port so that we can charge up. So that's a little disappointing. I was hoping for USB-C. On the front here, it's gonna show, uh, it's gonna show a power button, then it's gonna show pair, uh, low and charging, and then it's gonna show full. I believe that's gonna be for battery levels there. On this side, it's going to be a mic, uh, a mic port there, so we can plug in. On the very top here is going to be the built-in microphone, so that we can uh, we can use that if we decide to. And then we also have the clip there, so that we can clip this onto our uh, shirt or onto our uh, pants or wherever we want to clip it onto. So, all right. On the uh, on the receiver here, we are going to have a headphone jack, so that we can do some monitoring. We have the plus and minus button there. I believe this is just for volume. Um, we have the power button there uh, so that you can um, you can turn the thing off and on. Charging port right there again. On the top here we have line out. This is where it's going to go into your camera or smartphone if you uh, if you're using that. And again we have the uh, we have this mount right here, the little so that you can mount this onto your uh, to your camera or wherever else you're going to mount it onto. So, all right, let's see what else we have in the box here. Let's see if we're going to get. Um, any cool accessories and let's pull everything out of there and we'll set that over there. So it looks like we are going to get a uh, 3.5 millimeter audio cable. This one's going to be for the camera. It says right on there for camera. So that's pretty easy to recognize. We are going to get a, um, a three prong one. So this is going to be a TRS to TRRS cable. We can see because of the three little lines on there. And right here, it's going to say smartphone on there. And on this side, it's going to have a symbol of a smartphone. So we know which one is which. And I believe on here, it's going to show a camera as well. So we get one with a smartphone and one with a camera. So it's very easy to recognize which is which. And then we have two micro USB charging cables that we can use to, uh, to charge this up. So, And then last but not least, we do get a... Uh, a plug-in lavalier microphone if we decide that we want to go that route. So we do have that option. Now you don't need to because you do have this built-in uh, lavalier microphone on the uh, on the transmitter. But if you want to plug in, then you can definitely do that. So, all right. Well, now that we've done that and we've seen everything that comes in it, I'm going to go ahead and actually turn these on. I'm going to hook it up and uh, we're going to test it out and see what this sounds like. I'm not really going to do a distance test this time because, well, to be honest with you, most of these things have pretty bad range. As soon as you break line of sight, you need line of sight and then it's pretty decent. But if you break line of sight, it's pretty bad. So I think what I'm going to do is just uh, see what it sounds like in my... Uh, 
in my studio here and I'll test it out with my camera. I'm using the Sony a7S III and we'll just get an idea of what we can expect from, uh, from the transmitter's built-in microphone and we'll plug in the, uh, the included lavalier microphone and see what that sounds like as well. All right, so I went ahead and hooked the mic up and I have a clip to my shirt right here and I don't normally wear the mic on the outside of my shirt like this. I normally wear it on the inside so you can't see it, but I want you to see the microphone and where it's placed. So if I was wearing, say, a tie or a jacket or something, I would have the microphone placed about right where it is anyways. It might just be a little bit more centered on the, you know, a little bit more on the center line or something, but, but it would be about the same distance away from my, uh, from my mouth. So, yeah. Anyways, here we have it. This is what the microphone sounds like if you are using the built-in microphone of the, uh, the Kimi Fun KM G10 wireless microphone system. So, all right, what we wanna do is also test this lavalier microphone. So let's go ahead and test the lavalier mic, see what this sounds like, and uh, see if it sounds any good, if it's any different, if it sounds the same. And uh, yeah, let's check that out. Okay, so I went ahead and hooked up the uh, lavalier microphone so we can see it is just clipped to my shirt right here. I have the transmitter pack in my hand right here. So yeah, right now it is using the clip-on microphone and we get an idea of what this is going to sound like and what it does sound like. So um, I will say one thing that when I was doing the unboxing, I was looking at the plus minus buttons on the transmitter and the receiver. And it does seem that the uh, plus minus buttons on the receiver actually lower or raise the gain level. So it's going to, if your signal's coming in too hot to your camera, you can go ahead and lower it from the receiver. And if it's not coming in uh, hot enough, if, you're, if your subject is too quiet, you can go ahead and increase it from uh, while using those plus minus buttons on the receiver. So yeah, anyways, this is a quick sample of what the audio sounds like if you're using the included lavalier microphone of the KMG10 wireless microphone system. Okay, so I said I wasn't gonna do a distance test, but I figure I'm gonna try one here in my hallway right quick. So as you can see, I have the, uh, the microphone clipped on to my shirt right here. So first thing I'm gonna do is just break line of sight, turn around and walk backwards and see what this looks like or what it sounds like, excuse me. And then I'm gonna walk back forward and we'll see what it sounds like once I have line of sight. So let's go ahead and walk that backwards. So here we go. I'm just gonna keep talking as I'm going and we will see uh, you know, if it's uh, already broken down. I have no idea because I don't have line of sight. Um, yeah, so if it sounds good and it's still working, fantastic. I think I'm gonna walk all the way to the end of the hall and see what this uh, looks like. This is pretty far. I'm not sure how it is. I'm not, I don't think it's 30 meters, but yeah. So, all right, I'm all the way at the end of the hallway let's see if it's picked up if it broke up if it picked me back up now that i have line of sight so let's go ahead and start walking back here again and we'll see uh if it picks up or if it ever dropped off and uh yeah so this is a pretty long hallway here it's definitely not 30 meters but it's probably a good you know i don't know 50 feet or so maybe 60 feet it's a pretty good distance but it's definitely not uh, outside of this microphone's operating range as far as um, as far as having direct line of sight. So yeah, anyways, this is just a quick distance test to see how this microphone actually performed. Okay, so there's one last thing that I want to check and that is how does this microphone sound if you're using a smartphone? So right now I am recording using my iPhone 12 Pro Max. I went ahead and well, disconnected my regular camera, which is my Sony a7S III, and I am recording with my iPhone 12 Pro Max, and the audio is coming from the Kimafun KM G10 wireless microphone system. Now, I am using the stock camera app on the iPhone, so there's no audio controls on there, so you just sort of plug it in and get what you get but you can actually go in and use a different app like Moments or Filmic Pro or something like that that will give you more audio control. So if you want to lay, uh, lower or raise the gain, you can do that and have more control. Also, you'll be able to see your levels in there as well. So another nice thing about filming with your iPhone is if you have a smartwatch, 
you can actually use your smartwatch as a monitor and you can start and stop your recordings from your smartwatch as well. So anyways, this is what the microphone sounds like if you are using an iPhone, at least an iPhone 12 Pro Max. Now I did want to give you just a quick comparison of what the iPhone's built-in microphones sound like so you get an idea if these microphones are making a big difference or not. So what you're hearing right now are the built-in microphones of the iPhone 12 Pro Max. And I have the mic and the, uh, the transmitter and the receiver right here. So these are just the built-in microphones of the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Now I will say the iPhones have really pretty good microphones and from this range, they probably sound pretty good. But where you're gonna get some benefit and some value out of a wireless microphone set is when you have to step away further from your camera and your microphones aren't gonna be able to pick that up. So if you're filming outdoors somewhere and you're going and walking around a little bit and maybe someone's holding your camera and filming you or you have it on a tripod and you're walking around showing a different area or maybe you have it set up somewhere and you're skateboarding and talking and narrating as you're going, a wireless microphone set is gonna allow you to have that nice, clear, crystal, just pristine audio no matter where you are in the scene. All right, everyone, so there we have it. That is a look at the KemaFun KM G10 wireless microphone system. And yeah, I have to say, I'm glad that I did the distance test because I wasn't gonna do it and I did it and I was actually pleasantly surprised that the signal did not fall out. Now there was a little bit of a static in there. It seemed like there was a little bit of something when I got towards the end of the hallway, but I never actually had signal drop out, which is very, very impressive because other microphone systems that I've tried, as soon as I turn around, signal drops out. I didn't have that with this microphone, with this microphone system at all. Now, when I plugged in my smartphone, my iPhone, I did have some, um, sound like some interference going on there. I did not put my phone in, uh, in airplane mode because oftentimes when people are out and they are using microphones, sometimes they're live streaming, sometimes they just forget to put it in airplane mode. So I like to actually test it in harsh conditions, which for a smartphone was, is with airplane mode on. And one of the reasons why I think it had that interference is because it's probably a cheap cable. When you're recording with smartphones, you really should have a nice shielded cable that's hooked up so that you don't have any of that interference going through there. So that could be it. I'll have to do some further testing later when, when, I, do a, uh, when I do a comparison video between different wireless microphone systems and, uh, and try that out. So, but so far, I have to say, I'm actually really, really impressed with this microphone system. I think it sounds good. And I think if you're looking for something, this really could be a pretty good solution for you if you need a wireless mic. So yeah, anyways, I'm gonna leave a link to it down below in the video description so that you can check them out. I'm also gonna leave a link to my Amazon page and my social media contacts so you can reach me elsewhere. And I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram. And I am Larry with Today I Feel Like. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and air grease. Peace.